This is a case of an adipofascial perforator flap from the radial artery in the forearm used to prevent recurrence of synostosis following traumatic synostosis formation across the introsis membrane. Now synostosis is a rare complication of forearm fractures often associated with injuries to both bones occasionally occurring at the same site with damage to the introsis membrane usually seen in polytrauma patients and often also associated with a head injury. Now Vincent Miller published two papers describing cross-union complications in both adults and children and the three types they described and defined were the distal articular involvement which had higher rates of recurrence and then a type 2 which is distal third extra articular or middle third synostosis and a type 3 proximal third synostosis which had relatively lower rates of recurrence. The management of synostosis to regain forearm motion involves excision of the synostosis and then an adjunct can be used to try and reduce recurrence rate. Indomethacin has been described as as radiation but these are currently out of favour. Interposition barriers have shown some promise uh, but synthetic and allergenaic carry risks of infection and non-vascularised autographs including fascial art have the same problems. A vascularised interposition graft can be used using a perforator flap off the radial artery. Now this type of artery is relatively easy to raise and the artery perforators have a fairly consistent anatomy. The adipofascial tissue can be elevated without taking the skin and then this can be pedicled and rotated. Here's one case of a distal fracture with a synostosis. The synostosis has been taken down and the interposition prevents recurrence. And the range of motion here was supination minus 10, pronation minus 15, and this was maintained. In case two, a complex distal fracture of the radius, also a fracture at the same level of the ulna with the synostosis matured. And at about a year, synostosis was taken down and an interpositional adipofascial perforator flap was used, again maintaining a full range of forearm rotation. Here are the references. Thank you for listening.